everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time, with my top five picks for new comic book day. If you're interested in knowing what my top picks are, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So welcome back to my top five picks for a new comic book day this week. So we're going to get right into it. Number five this week is going to be Never Ender, number one. The year is 2x19 and due to breakthroughs and artificial accelerants, mankind is taken to the stars. The edge of civilization, the dominant sport is a civilized sword duel to the death. Sounds like a lot of action, a lot of fun from a small publisher at Bohemoth. It's my number five this week. Number four, it's going to be my only DC book of this week. It's going to be Batman Beyond the White Knight Showcase Edition. It basically puts together, it's a reprint of issues number one and two from the current series of Sean Murphy. Been loving the series. It's only $5.99. It's a new cover. I'm going to pick it up. Number three this week, Avengers Forever, Volume 2. Number six, this is going to be the much-anticipated uh, Vibranium Man. <laughs> um, the, solic the solicitation sounds pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a future Black Panther. Will it have any impact on the current story with Black Panther on Tosin? Who knows? That's for the whole speculation to decide in the market. I don't know. The cover looks really cool. I'm going to stick with the cover A does look really nice. I'm going to give it a read and see what happens going forward. All right. Number two this week, also from Marvel, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 38. Also a very anticipated book. Uh, it's going to be the first appearance of Billy Morales in a alternate reality. Um, it's going to feature as like a new character. I forget her um, character's name. But um, I'll, I'll just put it right in the, uh, on the screen there for you. There are some pretty cool covers. Uh, I do like the 1 in 10 design variant. You can probably get that probably for 5 bucks. It's usually, you know, 10 bucks or less. But you can probably get it for a cover at some places or $5. I don't see it really selling for much on eBay. But what I do like, and if you are willing to splurge, I'm going to say go after the 1 in 50 scan spoiler variant, which shows... Um, Billy Morales' futuristic character design on the cover. Really nice scan cover. Um, going for a, a decent amount over ratio. I saw some around 70, 80, 100 bucks. So that's going to be your hot variant of the week. Um, so that's number two this week. All right, a couple of honorable mentions. We're going to go right into uh, independent book. This is from Boom. Grim number one. This is the second printing. Um, been seeing that uh, Grim number one did pretty well um, when it came out. There was a ton of covers. A lot of the high ratio variant store exclusives did really well. They're reprinting the cover. It's going to be, I believe, the same cover. Um, slightly different color, I believe. But um, second printing, just missed the cut. Um, it would have probably made the list, but I did see that on June 15th. They're going to be releasing a third printing. <laughs> so... Uh, That'll probably be on the list as well Going on that when that week comes out. Um, the second honorable mention is going to be Justice League Road to Dark Crisis, number one. That's going to be basically the story, as it says, the Road to Dark Crisis. Um, going to talk about some of the events leading into the big next DC event. I don't know. It, there's going to be some interest for some DC readers, but um, I don't particularly need... A story leading up to the big crisis i just want the big crisis to actually come so uh, that's why it became an honorable mention and not one of the top five picks so number one this week if you haven't figured it out by now it is closet number one from image um real excited for this story jason tinian is going to be writing it great horror writer and that's why it's my number one this week um the covers from image can't say I'm a big fan. Terrible covers. Very simple. It didn't look like they were 
too much creativity into those. There are a few store exclusives that look pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to mention my channel sponsor, Bombardier and Sons. They have a fantastic cover for the closet number one. It is done by Red Code. And um, I believe it is limited to 350 copies. And if you buy it from their site, it is uh, it's a virgin variant and it comes with a custom box looks fantastic it's only $30 um, compared to some of the other you know store exclusives and if you happen to be going to heroes con this upcoming month they're gonna be having it there at the convention because it is a convention exclusive as well they are limiting the amount of copies he's selling on the site which I believe as of this recording they're sold out on the site for the upcoming convention so uh that's going to be my number one this week closet number one written by james tanyan if you like that please hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already go on my channel sponsors bombardier and sons check out some of the really cool store exclusives and until next time marks with the comics out